Well, oh my god. Did I miss you people? Oh my god, we haven't done a show in about 10 days and I missed you MFers so badly. Uh, boy, we have a great community and we built and are building something fabulous and I really did miss you. So mwah, welcome back. You're gonna notice we're in a different environment. We have, a, I wanna get through some housekeeping, but first thing we need to do is really appreciate where we are. Uh, as you can see, we're in a temporary new studio. Get down there, you little fucker. Sorry, I promised I was gonna stop swearing. Okay, we're in a new studio. We are in a corner of uh, my mother's art studio. So I've taken over, I can, I think I can flip it if I just push this button, let's find out. I think, yeah, okay, so you see the back end of, uh, of her, her painting studio. So I've taken a corner, I think it looks damn good. I'm very pleased with this. By the way, if you're new to Darren Jones Live, we are doing an amazing story tonight on this video. Uh, this guy took this per, well it's crazy, I can show you the per, it's crazy, check this out. The guy steals the purse, and we're gonna look at this video and decide whether or not the lady who got robbed could have prevented it. A lot of people online saying, yes, he could have. I say no, but we'll get into that in a second. But first, let's go through the studio. Um, yes, my mother is an artist. We're here temporarily. A lot of changes happening with this show, guys. As you know, we go four nights a week, usually 10 Eastern, seven Pacific. We're going nine Eastern for a while. So as you can see, she does a lot of still arts, and I don't want, I'm not swearing on YouTube because I want to get more of the of the of the Google jingle. You know what I'm saying? So that's interesting to me. I want to do that. So now I'm concerned: is YouTube gonna? There's nudity. So what I'm gonna do? I got post-its, and we have to self-censor everybody. So if you see an errant nipple, and by the way, this is not me talking. Okay, I'm prone pro. Let your nipple out. If you got a nipple, great. Pop it out, man, woman. Doesn't make a difference to me. Nipples are free. However, more 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 important than that belief for me is getting some of that sick Google AdSense. So, if you see one, let me know. And don't write a letter that you're mad or that it's offensive. That's a bare butt. We're okay with a bare butt, right? I mean, how do we feel about bare asses? I'm okay with it in the background. You can't really see. If <laughs> This is just so sad. This is like going through the Louvre and like covering up uh, all the naked people. I, look, this is not me, people. This is Google. All right, do you understand? I'm gonna put it on the crack, because you never know. You just never know. And if I find out I didn't get paid because of an ass, I will be very pissed off. Uh, let's get in the chat right now. First of all, uh, my gang, are we all here? We're all working. Katrina's here, Daniel's here. You know how we do the show, guys. We go four nights a week, absolutely live. And this is the first show back in like 10 days, so we're just gonna take her easy tonight and uh, do an old-fashioned one. And welcome. Uh, Max loves a mother. I've been so Jones for some Darren Jones. Mwah! We got a great show for you tonight. Uh, Joanne, uh, <clears throat> Daniel here. Good to see you. Uh, here we are. Let's get going. Okay, so as you know, this show, we cover uh, pop culture, we cover news, we cover tech, we cover sports. Uh, basically, if you're talking about it, we're talking about it. That's what we do on the show. This story came out uh, early, late last week, and I was like, I got to cover this thing because it's all about this video. And by the way, if you run, work in the news, I'm gonna step off. One, if you catch me swearing for the rest of this video, I will send you $100. Won't actually send it, not binding, not legally binding, but if you can find me swearing, we're a new era, guys. I, no more, no more. Do you think I can do it? Let me know if you think I can do it. Um, okay, if you work in news and you got a hot video, uh, you can uh, you can get those sweet hot clickbait clicks. So uh, usually in a big city like Toronto, somebody gets robbed from their purse or their bag, it happens probably 500 times a day. But when you have sweet ass video attached to it, by the way, ass I do not believe is a swear word, it goes viral, baby. That's what we're talking about. So uh, here, let me reverse the shot here. This, this Again, this system, I was bitching about it before. Bitching is not a swear. Ah, oh, it's so annoying. There. This guy was caught on, this vid, This is so brazen. This is so outrageously unbelievable. But the question to you is, if this happened to you, well, no, would you be able to catch it? That's, that's the real question, because I'm online, I've seen a lot of people going, oh, yo, straight up, if this happened to me, I would totally, uh, he would never have gotten it. So let's get into the video. You're watching Darren Jones, like this video, like, subscribe, wank, suck, those are not swears. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay, here we go, guys. And uh, feedback on the studio. Feedback on our new environment, guys. I feel like there's a lot we can do with this space for the next couple of weeks. 
Uh, I think we can have some fun with it. The show's, you guys have made the show so big. It's very exciting. People are watching. Okay. This is, cr this video is crazy. Okay, near Dundas West Station, it's in Toronto. Okay, so this is like a really popular bar thing in the middle of the daytime. What you're keeping an eye on, it's the dude in the blue. He's gonna rob the woman. I bet I can make this even bigger for you guys today. He is gonna rob the woman sitting there. She's got her purse over her chair. It's not like it's hanging on the floor. Like it's hanging over her chair, right? And the dude, her, her buddy she's sitting with is right there. All right, here we go. So he's hanging out, he's just watching. He does this thing with the coat and see right there, that's his, that's his thing. He does the cell phone and he does the shoulder coat hanging. What you're gonna see is he puts, he uses the coat and he gets it over and that's how he steals the purse. And all you people out there say, I would've totally, I totally would've, I would've, I would've stopped him, I would've seen it. You're full of shit. Oh, damn it. You're full of it. I'm not sending you a hundred bucks. You're full of it. Because everybody thinks in a situation, oh, I would totally react, I would totally jump into it. Let me tell you a little story, okay? I'm in, I'm in Los Angeles last week. I'm at a hamburger shop, in and out in Hollywood. Everybody says, oh, if I saw a robbery, I would totally do something, I would jump in, it would be crazy. I would totally not let somebody get away. This woman who's not doing well, pushes another woman, steals her purse right in front of me, in front of 40 people sitting on a patio eating, races down the street. Guess how many people got up to chase her? That many, baby. Zero amount of people. How much percentage is zero of people? Zero. That's the answer. Uh, if you're just joining us for the first time, I'm Darren Jones. This is Darren Jones Live. This is our first show back in, uh, <clears throat> what, two weeks? We're in, a new, we're in a new spot, and I'm so glad you're here. Uh, lovely studio, awesome paintings. Didn't even knew, notice the new room until you pointed out El Nino. What's going on? Um, all right. No, nobody was complaining about profanity. This is just me trying to work on being a better person, Joanne. I am, I'm about self-improvement. Okay, so let's continue. Could you stop this guy? Would you notice? So, that's his plan. This tape has been sped up a bit. So he hangs the jacket over the chair. He's trying to get close enough so he can kind of do the old little, little hand, get his little hand out and grab the purse. He keeps going back. He's testing them. See, this is what makes this so diabolical is because he's on the phone and he keeps seeing how, cl how close can I get? How close can I get before you even say something? How about now? How about now? Can you? And the people don't react. And have you ever been robbed? I want to hear from you. All right, so let's continue to watch. But again, this is a busy bar in the daytime. It's not like people are wasted, falling over. He's going to get closer. This is great. This is just unbelievable. Look, he gets closer. So he's sidling up. So he's trying to use the old little, little hand to grab it, right? He's trying to do the old pincher oh, under the sleeve. And he's using the cell phone to act like he's busy. Now, a lot of people are saying, how did the girl not notice? He's like literally right there. How did not notice? Would you notice? Are you so aware of your surroundings? Pop quiz, how many nipples are in this room right now? You don't know, you're not that aware of your surroundings. You see my point? So he's hanging his jacket over. We're gonna get into the thing. He's got the cell phone going. It's very diabolical. So now he's getting, look how close, look, how, look at the feet by the way. Look how close he is to the bar of the chair, like he is right there. But they don't even notice because this guy's a professional. And no to the people saying the guy sitting at the table is in on it, 100% zero no. Now, oh, did you see it? It just happened. Let's go back to the tape. He, see what he did there? And then he waits a second and then he splits. Right, watch, 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 right. He's got it, right. Now, do you see that? He just quietly put it under the chair and now it's in his jacket. He wraps it around. So she's like, where's my purse? It's already in his jacket. He folds it up, gets on the pretend phone and walks away. And the purse is gone. Dudes, that is insane. That is insane. Let's watch that one more time, you guys. Uh, and also, this is live as we are every night. I put my purse on the floor with the strap over my knee. Those purses are cut proof. Big strap would have uh, made sense. Ben Affleck is here. Take my strong hand. Ben, good to see you again. Always a pleasure. 
Uh, and if you're just joining us uh, for the first time in a while, we've been off for two weeks and uh, we have a temporary new home and I think this is a beautiful spot. I think we're gonna be very happy here for the time being. Uh, we're watching this purse uh, stealing thing. This is just deadly. Watch this again. We'll watch it again and then I have an update on this guy. And tonight's show is gonna be a little shorter than usual so you don't wanna go anywhere. Okay, so he's got the little hand going. He f flings it over. And then now it's, see the brilliant part is the coat. And this is not supposed to be a tutorial on how to rob someone. This is like, you gotta watch out ladies and gentlemen. If you got your bag, you can't let somebody get that close. But how do you prevent it? That's the question, would you notice? That is diabolical, unbelievable. So again, this happens, and because there's a big beautiful video of it, it makes all the news stories. And then a lot of people, especially on Reddit, are like, wait a second, I recognize this guy. He's done it before. This is dated March of this year. Check it out, y'all. Security video. This truly is brazen. A thief in a crowded restaurant wearing gloves, no less, picks up a woman's bag. Just picks it up? And just walks out. Unbelievable. Two friends having dinner didn't even notice. That's what he does. I, oh. live at the rest I do love how they got a reporter. They're going to break down the story. See if they can break it down better than I did. Here we go. Restaurant near Warden and Steel Sean. How did this man go undetected? Well, well, uh, nobody, uh, nobody fucking saw him. What do you want? How did he go undetected? He wasn't seen. That, we don't know how. He's a magician. Is that what you want to hear? What a, what a crazy question. How am I supposed to? How did he go undetected? Well, I guess officially he went undetected by not being seen. I guess that's how you he went undetected. He succeeded in being undetected when he was not detected. He thrived on the fact that the place was packed at the time. It was a Saturday night. Everybody was uh, rushing in for dinner. Okay. And the victim didn't even know she'd been robbed Crazy. until she saw the security footage. There it is again. He just picks up the bag. Look he was undetected, CC, sorry, walking around a crowded restaurant Look looking to find a target. He needs a Kinda name. took his time to the make sure I didn't notice anything. Graduate student Maddie Tong was distracted, eating her dinner, her bag, with a laptop inside, dangling on her chair. And before you say, I would never get robbed, yes you would. How many times you left your cell phone on a table and just zipped off to go fill your cup or whatever? This security footage shows the thief waiting to make his move. But yo! Uh, there were lots of people walking around, what? so I didn't even notice that there was like someone nearby. He edges over beside her table, pretending yo, to be Yo, straight up, phone, that's the same guy. he quietly- Straight up, tell me that's not the same guy. Look, let's compare notes, guys. He's got a hat, he's got a phone, he has two hands. Uh, he doesn't have gloves here. He's got a jacket. He's wearing pants. This has to be the same guy, right? It's unbelievable. Grabs her bag, covering it with a coat, and then he's gone. That's his move! I just didn't expect it to happen. And, to and you can't blame this poor person. I will not have any victim blaming on, on my show. If you get robbed because of this guy and his genius gloves and his coat, that is not your fault. This guy's a mastermind. See someone um, just take it from me in the security video it's crazy. footage? Crazy! was kind of like a... It was like a wake-up. The graduate student eh. lost her laptop, which she since had to pay to replace, and a great deal of schoolwork as well that was what? unfinished and not backed up. Your essays! It felt like a part of my life has been taken away from me, and I was just... I'm calling bullshit on the not backed up. I mean, I write something on my computer, it's backed up before I even know it's happened. And with the cloud, I'm, maybe it happened. I'm just saying, I don't believe it's not backed up. I think you're maybe embellishing about how much was stolen. Because you write an essay, it automatically, right? Unless it's not to the cloud. So, you know what, I changed, your honor, I changed my defense, or my process, she's fine. Yes. Kind of in shock for a very long time. I, I didn't guess know so. How to react. The Green Grotto says that I'd the footage too, man. revealed that the thief was there for just under 10 minutes, and the atmosphere allowed him to move undetected. Right now, the restaurant is about half full, so when it's oh, they're full, I love when they do these in. Easy it is for right now, we're in the restaurant, and you can imagine more people and someone stealing something here. Back to you. People to become distracted. Yeah, no, I agree. Please say that's the type of thing these thieves thrive on. They're long gone before you even realize that the theft has taken yep. place. Constable Andy Patton said that these thieves. And the other problem is, have you ever tried to like report some bullshit being stolen? Good luck getting that back. This is the yeah we're writing a police yeah we're writing a police report. Yeah yeah yeah. Okay, go get it back. Our patience. So the best defense is keep a close yes. eye on your belongings. Keep them close to you. So here's what I'm doing, guys. I'm proposing a new thing to keep everything safe. We all have to wear old-fashioned medieval armor. 
with the face thing and the whole thing. You put your things inside the armor. So the only way the thief can get you is if he cuts you open with a sword, an old fashioned sword, or puts your hand in there and grabs it out officially. Uh, we've seen a couple of different types of thefts where uh, people have had purses or bags over the back of a chair in a restaurant. Yep. There have been no arrests, but That's police the guy. are hoping that someone wreck Dude, straight up, that is the exact same guy. Am I right? That is 100%. Recognizes this man. As for Maddie Tong, this experience has changed her awareness. And well, it's that's just a good, matter of now I'm super careful with everything. Like, I'm still kind of worried about my stuff. Like, just being beside me over here. And above all, right, all wrap else, it up, Maddie buddy. Tong wanted people to know what had happened to her so that they take the time to protect their belongings because you never know when your awareness is going to fall down. That's true. Reporting live from Mark and I'm Sean Lee Thong. That's it. Sean, well done. That's a good report. So, the question is, have you ever been robbed? And if not, what do you do to prevent it? Do you put your stuff on your lap? Should we tuck it in like, should we get like a giant hat and, and stuff our hat full of things? Is that what we should be doing? I don't know. If you're just joining us for the first time, I'm Darren Jones. You're watching Darren Jones Live. Welcome. Mwah. We're in a new studio tonight. Uh, I'm going to rob his gloves, says El Nino son. And uh, we're just doing a tight, quick one. We're going to be doing the show at 9 Eastern. Mark it down. 6 Pacific for the rest of the week. We're experimenting with different times because I'm in the Eastern time zone right now. We got a brand new studio. It's absolutely beautiful. To finish up on this uh, purse snatching story, the same guy back last summer stole 80K in jewelry. This guy is a mastermind. So what I would like you to do in the comments right now, if you're watching this later or if you're live right now, let people know how you can protect your stuff. What do you do with it? And do you really think you would notice if a guy stole your bag hanging off your chair? Because I say no. Everybody's online is saying, oh, I would totally have known. I totally would have known. I call bullshit on that. I think that's uh, nonsense and you never would have noticed it. All right, so guys, I'm Darren Jones. This is Darren Jones Live. Like, subscribe, rank, suck. Do what you got to do. We're, I'm trying not to swear anymore. If you notice it, mark down the time code and catch me. There will be no prizes, but see if you can do it. Also, if you see any nudity, let me know and I'll cover it up. I think we did pretty good. We covered some uh, butts and some nipples. Let me know. Let me know. I'm Darren Jones. Guys, it is so good to be back. We're doing this four nights a week. The show is building. It's exciting. I will see you tomorrow night, and I love each and every one of you. Except, except you. You know who you are. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I do love all of you. Have a great night. <laughs>